Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go, as you, if you guys seen my shorts, my past shorts I just posted not too long ago, you've seen that I went to Walmart this morning, didn't find nothing, they're still in the dry spell, hopefully um, they get restocked and we can go back and find some great stuff, I'm going to continue to revisit that store um, in the morning as much as I, as early as I can, uh, then after the Walmart I posted a short of me going to Target, if you guys haven't seen those shorts go back and uh, revisit those those are in store filmed and uh, you can see how bare it was and what I found but I want to go over more in detail what I found at Target but before that I went to another Target probably like a week ago and uh, I did find one team transporter it's number 47 um, And uh, this is the one with the boat, and I didn't get the boat because I know that will be a peg warmer and I can get that at any time. But I did pick up this nice set here, Team Transporter. I've been missing this one. I didn't have this one. This is the MG Metro um, 6R4 and the Hot Wheel Rally Hauler. I mean, this is pretty cool. We've seen this van before. Um... I believe it came out in the Ford set and the box set. Walmart exclusive. Um, but this one looks really good. And this deco. And uh, this uh, trailer looks really nice. With the MG Metro right on the back there. Highly detailed. I really like the color scheme and the temples on this thing. This is fully detailed. Metal, metal. Go rubber tires. Super clean. So, I am finding a little bit of stuff. It's trickling in very slowly. But, um, glad I found this one. I know there's a boat. I've seen the boat there hanging in a Target. Um, that'll probably be the last thing I'll buy. I'm not too fond with the boats. Um, but it looks really good in person. I did pick up the the Mercedes AMG GT3. If you've seen in my past post content, and then now I just got this one here, which is awesome because it completes my transporter collection, and I'm up to date to up to date with the with the team transporters. I know there's newer stuff coming out. And I can't wait to get those as well. Those are pretty super cool. So that's going to go on my wall. As soon as I find room for it. I'm running out of room. As you know it. That's every collector's problem. <laughs> then this morning. About 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I went to Target. And uh, I found this nice box set. Of the Majorette. It's a Porsche edition. Um. Super clean. These are just stocked, so these are brand new. Uh, different paint schemes. But uh, we got the Porsche Tyson Tycan Turbo 5. And we got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And we got the nice Porsche 918 Spider. And of course, let's see what that one is. We got the Porsche 917 and the Porsche 718 Boxster. But look at the details on these. These are hidden targets now. I'm looking for the Volkswagen set as well. I haven't seen that one yet. I've seen pictures, but I have not seen it on the shelf. But this is the third wave of the Porsche edition by Majorette. So if you guys are collecting these, these are hitting the targets as we speak. 
And there's the Porsche licensing. So this is super clean. I love the the 917 uh, deco and that green that used to be the pink pig is now green. And yeah, and instead of the the police car Porsche, we have this blue Taken Turbo S. That's that's how you pronounce it. But yeah. Now I have three of these. Oops. Three different ones. Super clean. That's one of the things I found at Target. And then, as I was walking out, I saw on the shelf, just laying there on the shelf. And I only found two of the five. But the Rolling Run, number two of five. I found this Nissan 300ZX twin turbo in red with black Five spokes, rims, that's awesome. I have no clue why they left these behind. Because this is a hot car. Everyone's looking for the 300ZX. Because um, I was looking on the back. Yeah, the Mazda RX-7 is nice. The Nissan 300ZX twin turbo is awesome. And the Subaru Impreza. Is awesome. The Mazda RX-7 FC Pandium is cool. And the Toyota Starla Starlet. I mean, they're not as hot as these. So, it's not like they just bypass this and say, I didn't want it. Maybe, I'm thinking, because this is just laying on the shelf. The associates that worked at Target... Maybe found them hidden somewhere and they just put them on the shelf. It could be the possibility. Because if any collector saw this, they would have bought this. Guarantee. Especially the Turbo, the Nissan 300ZX. Super clean. But 205. Um, so I found that laying there on the shelf. And I also found the 96 Subaru Impreza. 228 STI version 4 or 5. Another hot model car, like model. So, I'm not too sure why they would leave these behind, but um, yeah, super clean. Look at that rims. Only found two of the five. The Ronin and Run. But I'm so glad I found the two. Because that's something new. Now I just need three more. And I'm sure I can find those. Because these are, are popular model castings as well. So. Glad to have these in my collection. So yeah. Those are the two things that I found. At Target this morning. So that's all I found really. This morning. My stores are really bare. Um, I haven't hit any grocery stores. Um, maybe I will hit some tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Um, but right now. I want to go over what I found. Or what I ordered. The 2003. First editions. A complete set so we're gonna go over that right now so let me clean and make room for that because that's gonna have to lay it out so we can get started on that so yeah let's get the box up there so we can it might not be in order because they just came out of the box. They're gonna come out of the box. I just got these through eBay for a good, 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 good price. It was a lot of the complete set of 2003 first editions. So uh, it might not be in order. I don't think they would took the time to put it all in order and put it in the box for me. Um, but if you guys have not seen my past videos of the 2000 
first edition in 2000 or a 2001 and 2002 first edition um, I have that in the video my past content if you go back and click on those videos and watch it you can see what all the first models that came out before it hit all the other years on from Hot Wheel history but let's see let's start with The Wild Thing 2001 number 18 so uh, this one is 6 of 42 and 42 we have this Wild Thing super clean as well and this cast is pretty heavy. I mean, it's die cast metal bot, um, base. So there's quite a few um, weight to this one. And this is the first time it got debu debuted in Hot Wheels line, main line, in 2003. Take a look at that. Thirtieth, the thirty-fifth anniversary at the time. They had the Highway Thirty Five, Hot Wheels. I don't know if you guys remember that segment, but yeah, super cool on that one. Then the next one I have Seven of Forty Two, and this one's the Quarter Mile Coupe, Two Thousand Three First Edition. Super clean as well, purple with the die cast engine. Um, super clean. Let's try to move this over just a tad. There we go. So I like this casting. This casting reminds me back in the days when I was hunting for these. Um, yeah, 1968 to 2003, that was 35 years. They were celebrating 35 years of Hot Wheels. This one's also a metal base, so that one's pretty cool. I love this casting. Let's see what else we have here. Make it... Uh, the Zodic. Okay, so we've seen this car come out quite a few times through the years. And this is the first time it first debuted in Hot Wheels Mainline in 2003. This nice burnt orange. This is the Zodic 8 of 42. Take a look at that. This one doesn't look... It's a fantasy car, but... We've seen this quite a few times throughout the years. Um, and we've seen it with all kinds of crazy deco and all this craziness they put on these cars. But this one is super clean and one basic color with a chrome engine. Black interior with the PR5s. And this one has, I think, is a plastic base. But... Yeah, super cool. The next one. The fish and chip. And this is four of twelve. Uh, twelve four of forty two, excuse me. But there you go, and this nice two tone silver and blue. Tan interior, super clean. This is called Fish and Chipped. And this is a 16, collector number 16. Back in these days, they did a lot of fantasy cars. Um, they did a lot of cars that looked like what you would see on the road, but didn't call it what it was. Because I don't think Hot Wheels had the license, license to do that at that time. But well, here's another one. We have 3 of 12. The Corvette Stingray. And this nice silver. 
super clean. Just one color, black interior. The Corvette Stingray with a five five hole or five. Uh, this one has a metal base as well. And you can see it says 2002 was produced, released in 2003, three of 12. This is 15, collector number 15. And the next one we have the Steel Flame, number two of 42. This one's really, really cool. This nice green and silverish white flames going over the nice shiny metallic blue lord on the p pr or on the pr5s you also got the hot wheel logo right there on the hood with the flames going over the hood and over the back of the truck which is super cool this is collector number 14. Super cool on that one. Love it. Then we have 13 of 42, the Swoop Coop. Collection number 25. It's called a Swoop Coop. This nice red. A little bit of deco there on the side. Remember those tires they used to use? Or rims? They don't use those no more. I forgot what they call them. Hot Rodish. Collector number 25. 2003. Clean. Now you guys are wondering. Um... Yes, I'm collecting. I'm trying to get all the first editions that Mattel has ever produced. Um, I know in 1995, they started calling it New Models. Then they went to the first edition. And they had a number to how many they wanted to put out that year. And now they just, right now as we speak, they use the label uh, New for 2023. That's the same as first edition or new models. That's the first time it, that car is, is showing up in the main line is when they have it today, it would say new for 2023. That's the first edition of the car for that, for this year. So any car that you see new for 2023 is the first edition for that, for this year. They just don't word it first edition and and the difference between that and two is before for instance like this whipped creamer whipped creamer two this number this 2003 first edition whipped creamer two and they tell you how many there are in the whole series for the year of 2003 so there, there were there was going to be forty two cars released in two thousand three, as first time ever showing up for Mattel. New castings, and this is the the first time released original color, original rims, original packaging, plastic base. But this is the first time this car showed up. Um, then after that, two thousand. Four comes around 2005 like we know it it always repeats us the castings but what really matters is the first model and here we go the 14 of 42 collector number 26 whip creamer 2 whip creamer 1 is as part of the red line sweet 16 lineup so that's a totally retooled retooled Casting there, and then we got 24 7. 
Um, there we go. 24-7. This one's called 24-7. 1242. 2003 first edition. And it's nice green. The PR5s. Collector number 24. Looks like an RX-7. If I look at this car without the name, I would think it would be an RX-7. But like I said before, I don't think they could have named it that. Because I don't think they had the licenses at that time. I mean, there's some of them that are realistic cars. But a lot of them at this time frame were always been off the wall name. This one's super cool. Love it though. Love it. Next one. Eight crate. Remember the eight crate? I've seen this a couple of times too. But here's the first edition of it. 10 of 42. This nice silver and black with purple windows. With the engine in the back. This almost looks like a 57 Chevy wagon modified. Super clean though. But yeah. 10 of 42, clutch number 22. Next. Oh, this is my favorite. Switchback. I believe this is a 5042. Check that out, guys. So this is called Switchback with the surfboards in the back. But look at that. Burn orange, black top. Super clean. These cards are pretty big. I mean, 2020, 2003, that's just, what, 20 years ago? Or in 2023? 20 years ago, these cards were 20 years old. 20 years old. And here we have Pon Pontiac Bonneville. One of 42. And this is a 1985 Bonneville. Lower to the ground. Check this out, guys. Sweet. The laced wheels. Super cool. Number collector number thirteen. This is the number one of forty two. So this is the first car for the set of two thousand three. First edition. Super clean. I think I'm gonna collect different this year. I just wanna pick up all the new models, all the first editions, all the first editions in the main line, and just focus on car culture. Target exclusives, Walmart exclusives, and uh, Forza, all that kind of stuff. I don't think I should be able to pick up repaints of the same model. Just to scale down on some of this stuff. Because first edition is it's all you need. And this is number. And here we got the new, uh, next one. Tuburn. Oh, it's a Hyundai Tribune. And this nice Hot Wheels Deco. 2000 first edition as well. Orange windows. White interior. It says Hyundai on the hood there. This is super clean. 20 of 42. Plastic base, 
You can tell when it's metal when it has some weight to it. On the on top of the car. This is a nice casting here. This is the collector number 32. First edition. The next one we have here. The GT03. 21 of 42. GT03. Here we go. They like to use this orange a lot, I noticed. I like the way it has a little swoop going towards down towards the ground on the hood there. But this is just plain Jane orange. Plastic base, laced wheels, super clean. This is called GT03, collector number 33. And here we go, guys. Bugatti Veyron, 18 of 42. This is the first time that Veyron was on the main line in this nice red and black. Check that out. 2003 first edition, 18 of 42. Bugatti Veyron. Super clean. Look at that. Tan interior, black and red, chrome engine on the back, clear window, nice back there, plastic base, but yeah, there you go, first time, collector number 30, Veyron, Bugatti. Then we have Flight 03. <laughs> Some of these names. This looks like a Ford Focus to me. But check this out, guys. 2003 first edition Flight 03. 19 of 42. I don't know if we've seen this car again. I haven't. It has a metal base on this one. I can feel the weight on it. But this one's a nice looking casting, even though it's a fantasy car. This is a collector number 31. The Golden Arrow. This is the Golden Arrow, guys. Here we go again with that orange. They must have loved this color orange. Because this is orange with a yellow stripe going around the rear wheel. With a silver top. Blacked out. Or it looks like clear windows with black interior. This is go with the Golden Arrow. Metal base on this one as well. Collector number 29. It's always good to invest in something that's production run first time. And then you see it so multiple times after that. But those don't matter. This, I think, in my opinion, the first edition is where it's at, guys. That's all I need is the first model of casting. And then however, how many times do you want to put it out? Well, it's not the original. Here we go. We got another fantasy car. I uh, can't even pronounce his name, but here we go. I think we've seen this a couple of times as well. And all kinds of deco on it. This is purple PR5s on this. This is called, what is it called? Sinistra, 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 1642. Collection number 28. Clean. 
Then we got the Cadillac Scion with silver. Cadillac Scion, Scion, 1542. Red windows, chrome interior, plastic base, PR5s. Tail lights done in the back. Nothing done in the front. Country number 27. Couldn't ask for anything less, right? From mainline. Sand Stinger. Here we go. Sand Stinger. Like a quad. This nice yellow greenish color here. This is 26 of 42. This is all die cast metal. I feel the weight on this one is nice. Check it out. Check that out. Nice. Collector number 38. Then we have the boom box. How many times you guys seen the boom box come out? Well, this is the first color and first uh, edition here in 2003. This is pretty nice. This is called the boom box. 23 of 42. Check that out. That's clean right there. I like the way they put the Hot Wheel logo on the back window. Looks like a Cadillac Escalade. But they're calling it the Boom Box. Super clean. And here we go, guys. The Enzo Ferrari 2442. And nice red there. First edition right here. And you know that um, Hot Wheels can't, don't, do not make Ferraris anymore. So this is a good piece to have. This and the Bugatti are the two highlights in this whole 2003 um, set. Super clean. Love the Ferraris. Been collecting all the Ferraris too. I have a lot of Ferraris. Collector number 36 on that one. Okay, so what else we have here? Dodge M80. Dodge M80 in yellow. Check that out. I don't think they make these anymore. No, they don't. Dodge don't even make these this model anymore but look at this 2003 they did because all was put it out 25 or 42 collection number 37 on that one what else do we have here oh the fryer so fryer the for fryer and this nice blue hot wheel deco on it I believe that opens up. Looks like it opens up right there. It's like the... I know the video is getting kind of long, guys, and I do appreciate you guys watching this content. Um, sorry for the... It's going on 33, going on 34 minutes. So, appreciate you guys watching. And, uh... Hope you're enjoying the content. So, this is 22 of 42, collection number 34. So, I'm gonna like hurry it up so I know it won't take an hour. And I got another boom box. This is a variation, this is a lighter blue. So, this is 
the blue on this is a lot lighter than the first one. There you go. Variations right there. Love to have the variation in colors. One's lighter than the other. Same casting. So, really thrilled about that. That's awesome. And the Judge, the 1960 Pony, um, Pontiac GTO, the Judge. Check that out. The big old engine in the front, super clean. Plastic base. This is 33 of 42. Collector number 45. And you notice the cards are changing over the time frame too. This is a different card, blue card. Here we go, guys. Lamborghini. Murcia Lago. In the first edition. We've seen this all, every year, it seems like, in different colors. We've seen it in car culture. We've seen it in mainline so many times. Different colors. This is the first Lamborghini Murcia Lago. Murcia Lago. 31 of 42. And its original color tail lights done up in the headlights done up in the front. Yellow PR5s. Super clean. And the collector number 43 of 2003. Okay. Then we got uh, a audacious, audacious, thirty-two forty-two, audacious. Hot wheel logo. I love the rims on this. They don't use these rims anymore. Super clean though. Audacious. 32 of 42. Collector number 44. And there we go, guys. 2003 first edition. Then we got the nine or the 1870 Dodge Charger. With a big engine in the front as well. This one's clean. 30 or 42 1970 Dodge Charger 2003 first edition this nice root beer color with the number 52 love the deco on this super clean this is collector number 42 then we got the power wagon this nice burnt orange power panel deco on the front on the side there. This is called a power panel. 29 of 42 for 2003 first edition. You got the headlights done up there. Not so much on the back, but hey, what can you expect, right? This is collector number 41. Then we got the Honda Civic for 2003 first edition, guys. Silver. Got the S high deco on the hood there and on the top of the car. On the spoiler, Hot Wheel logo. 
number six there and that's the nice looking casting honda civic 27 of 42 2003 first edition this is collector number 39 super clean And we got the Myers Mannix. Check that out. In black. and purple. Remember this one? I've seen this a couple of times. 39 of 42. 2003. First edition. This one's heavy. This has a metal base. Super clean. Collector number 51. And then we have the Ford T. The Ford F-150. Excuse me. With this engine. Blowing engine on the hood there. Super clean. Look at that. That's cool. PR-5s. I love this one. This is 38 of 42. Collector number 50. And we got the uh, ground effects. I don't know if this is a real car or not for the salt. Flats. They like to run on these kind of cars. See if they can break this. Speed sound. Might have to look more into this car and see if this is a realistic car or just a fantasy car they made up. But this is 37 of 42, 2003 first edition. And this is called the Ground FX. Oh, Ground FX. Ground FX. Ground FX. Collector number 49 on this one, guys. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Let me get this. Is da car, da car, thirty six or forty two, two thousand three, first edition. Da car. Okay. We know this must be a fantasy car. So metal base, though. They put some metal bases in a lot of these fantasies. This is collector number 48. Then we've got the 2002. I cannot pronounce that. But we know this is a fantasy car. This looks space aged. Autonomy, Autonomy, Autonomy concept, 2003 first edition, 35 or 42, with a blue metal base. Pretty slick. Collector number 47. Don't spend too much time on this fantasy car. Here we go. 1968 Mustang. Check that out with a big engine. We've seen this not too long ago. I think, as a matter of fact, last year it came out in a cream color, like a cream color, white. This is a nice blue. This is the original color. 2003 first edition, 3442, 1968 Mustang. Sweet. And collector number 46. Very eight. We got a very eight. Collector number 23. Check that out. This is 11 of 42. Super clean. I 
metal base. Collector number 23. 23. Chaparral. 20. This is nice white with a 7 in the meatball. Just plain white, laced rims. With the number 7 on the hood. You got some headlights action going on. Clear window, black interior. And there you go. 2003 first edition Chaparral. 9 of 42. Collector number 21. It's clean. And then we got the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And this nice tuned out looking tune card look like. 2001st edition Mitsubishi Eclipse 4242. So this is the last car, last car, excuse me. The last car that they made for 40 for 2003 first edition. Set 42 42. Super clean. I like that turbo coming out of the top of the hood there. And here's another boom box. So now that we have we have a third variation of the boom box, guys. And this nice maroon. That's sweet. Now I got three variations of this casting. Maroon. Collector like number 35 again. Color variation. Then we got the 1941 Ford pickup. 41 of 42. This is clean. Like that engine coming out of the hood like that. They don't do castings like that no more. Look at that. Chrome bed. Sweet. 41 of 42. Collector number 53. See, I think this is the last one. Yep. And we got the Cadillac Escalade. Here we go, guys. Number 40 of 42. It's silver. I know it wasn't in order, but these like the way they have the headlights there. They got the Alpine across the windshield, sunroof, tinted windows, PR fives. And yeah, there you go. Chrome base, plastic base, card number 52. And there you have it, guys. There you go. Complete set of 2003 first editions. And I'll tell you, I'm thinking I'm thinking of just collecting the first editions. So, yeah, there you go. First models for 2003. Set the tone for years after that. So comment down below and let me know what you think about the 2003 first editions. And let me know what your favorite motto is. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching this video. Do appreciate it all you guys and please share like this video and hit the notification bell and as soon as we get to 500 subscribers I'm gonna do some giveaways so make sure you share this video with all your fellow collectors and I'll see you on my next video this is Hollywood Manus and I'm out